Oh yeah, we got a good one for y'all today, man. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Meta View documentary. You know, where we share history, things that really happen. You know what I'm saying? That gave Meta View its identity. And today, I want to talk about the time the Meta View niggas and all the Sacramento Bloods in Folsom went up against all the Crips of California and won. I don't know why they don't talk about this more. This is one of the biggest California riots to ever happen. This was so big, the police, the, the guards ran off the yard and left niggas to just kill themselves and fight it out and go to war. And really, it highlights that in California, Sacramento Bloods got their own car. And they push hard. A lot of times harder than the L.A. Bloods who got some type of connection with the Crips. Or because the Crips was so prolific in Southern California, they intimidated by them. I say that to say, when the Sacramento Bloods went to war with the Crips and forced them, all the Bloods supposed to be together. The L.A. Bloods sat down. But let me get into how it all started. Let me give y'all a little play-by-play. -play. You know, because I ain't no troublemaker, but I'm going to finish it, though, right? So, you know, little Rick and the Zilla niggas, they on the yard. And, and they got numbers and shit, you feel me? They some wild niggas. They doing, you know, they doing what they want. And I guess them niggas jump a LA, some L.A. Crips in one of the buildings, right? Which, you feel me, to them L.A. niggas and that Cripping and shit, that shit is a no-no, you feel me? Plus, they hella deep, right? So, I guess they jumped the nigga the day before. Bam, the next day come. We don't know what happened because these niggas didn't tell nobody. They did what they want. They got on some crips from L.A. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Beat them the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Rob, I don't know what the fuck they did. They was doing wild shit. So, the crips wanted their backs. You feel me? Bam, so... Lil Rick and his team, now they hide behind the Sacramento car. You feel me? So, bam, that's what the situation over. So, the Crips did all congregated. They knew something was up. You feel me? You know, the Zillas didn't feel like they had to answer to the Bloods or anybody else. So, they didn't tell nobody. So, we were just stuck with who we were stuck with on the yard. Me, I ain't fuck with them. They don't fuck with us. We from Meta View. Uh, we got our own shit. Um, so, I was working out. You feel me? But it was a bunch of us on the yard. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Particularly the big homie, Big Moose. And if you don't know who Big Moose is, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He definitely the biggest member. You know what I'm saying? The nigga like this big, like this big. I mean, completely over 350 pounds. One of the biggest motherfuckers you ever gonna see or something. You feel me? Big scar on his neck. He on the yard. Right? Doing his time trying to go home. But that's my dog. That's my road dog. We like this, though. So... You know, I'm about that action, so, bam, I come from the yard, and I, I just, you feel me, walk to the Sacramento area, bam, I walk to the Sacramento area, I'm, you know, taking off my workout shit, and the Crips is all, they mad, they, they jousing at the Sacramento side, you feel me, like, yeah, I'm Crip, and whoop, 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 this, and Crip, 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 and nigga, nigga you right there, and they pointing the little Zilla niggas out that, you feel me, did the shit, right, but, they behind the wall of the Sacramento Bloods. You feel me? So, the Crips is just mad like you bitch ass niggas. You whoop, 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 nigga gets just jousing. And between the middle, <laughs> you know me, man. You couldn't tell who they was talking to. So, you know me, nigga. I'm like, who you talking to, nigga? Who, who, who you talking to, nigga? And Moose peeped me. He like, Cole, this ain't even us. Stay out of it. But by that time, I done caught one of these little Crips, nigga. And I'm like, nigga, who you hollering at, nigga? I know you not hollering at me. Or over here, you feel me? So, nigga, immediately. Nigga like, oh, nigga, fuck you too, whatever. Bam. So I immediately take off towards him. Bam. You feel me? Now, it was some young L.A. Bloods. Just a couple of them that ended up getting DP that were fucked with the Sacramento niggas tough. They over on the side just trying to get their get backs. You really they you can tell they really bloods, you feel me? They wanted with the crib. You feel me? So 
Moose see me. The met of you niggas see me. Take off to the crib side like, what's happening, nigga? You feel me? And I rushed the whole crib side. Bam. That's what it looked like. But I'm going to get up with dude who jowls right? Fuck all that talk. Moose see me and he like, nah, Cole, nah, nah. He, he tried to stop me. But in the process, you know, you can't stop me when I'm raging. You feel me? Nigga, we take off to the to the crypts. Bam. Little LA nigga come up off the motherfucking table with us and, and go on attack mode too with his partner. So we end up rushing the crypts. Bam. Mind you, these are all the crypts in LA. In Sacramento, period. Right? Bam. So my man of you nigga see me, Moose push with me. And we just rush up into their motherfucking area. They, they whole little circle and shit. And start taking off. You feel me? And you know, shout out to the homie CJ. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Because he was right on my side. And bam. When I'm jousing with the nigga and I we rush their crowd. You feel me? It's hell of them. Right? And if you don't know how to move in war, you got to know how to move around. So immediately, I'm already like, what, what, what? And take off towards bro. Moves like with me. So me and my niggas engaged. We go into the crib area. And the nigga I'm talking to, he's still further back. So I know he expect me coming. And as soon as I do that, I flake off to the right and bop. Take off on the first nigga. Drop it. Bop. So the nigga who was waiting on me turn around and give my nigga a good one to his face. You feel me? Because he didn't see it coming. He didn't know I was going to flank off on the side. Pop this nigga. But soon as he hit the homie, nigga, I, huh, and drop him. That's a big nigga, too. Mind you now, we all in that shit getting it. Bam, 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 bam. All in that shit. Moose with me. You feel me? He handling his business. Now, after this shit kick off, bam, after we take off, the whole yard go ballistic. So us rushing them, a lot of the Crips just was like, they, we completely outnumber like three to one. The Crips go that way and start spreading out over the yard and getting out their own area because we in there digging on their ass. You dig? You feel me? So now the yard done went crazy. All the Sacramento niggas is getting busy. You feel me? The Crips done rushed these Sacramento niggas. Some of these niggas didn't want to fight. <laughs> Nigga, they made them fight. You feel me? The yard going down. So, I'm going to keep it real. So, bam, me and Moose getting down like me and Moose. Ha, ha, back to back. Ha, 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 ha. You feel me? So much. Nigga, we didn't clip it. Crips out their own area. I swear, me and Moose and the matter of you niggas is like, da, 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 da. Getting off on Crips of their own shit. You feel me? Moose still trying to be like, hey, Cole, get back to the area though. Right? But now we in a full mode attack. You feel me? So, Nigga, we fighting so long. Nigga, they maces. Nigga, we getting hit. Nobody can fuck with us and shit. Nigga, when they hit us with that mace, me and Moose both went down. Oh, nigga. I can't see, nigga. Nigga, where you at, Moose? Nigga, oh, I'm over here, nigga. Nigga, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> nigga, that's the only thing that dropped me and Moose, nigga. That's what made us get back to the area. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So then the nigga like, oh, blood, that bass ain't playing, nigga. I can't even see shit, bro. You, you good? You, I'm good. You feel me? Hey, so the yard going crazy now, right? Whole yard laid down. Niggas getting busy. Bop. Bam, they lay the yard down. The police come. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We get over to the area. The crazy niggas get up to the area. The police think they got control of everything. You feel me? So... This shit crazy. This one it get crazy, right? So me and Moose, we sprayed with the mace. They hit us all first and shit. You feel me? Bam. Now that shit clearing up out of our eyes in the yard down. And you know the Bay Rock with the Sacramento blood is supposed to be bloody water. So the Bay watching everything like. And they don't fuck with the crib. So these Bay niggas is crack. They crack me up, bro. They always fucking funny. So the Bay niggas done watch the Sacramento kick the Crips ass on the Folsom Yard, right? And let me go back to that story real quick and give my nigga Moose his credit. Because when you come into the ring with a nigga that's bigger than Andre the Giant, but he built, 
Hey, it wasn't me that rushed the Crips that made them jump up out the area, nigga. I had nigga Gigantor with me. And them niggas didn't want to get hit by that big ass nigga. So all the rest of the matter, you niggas, all we had to do was play clean up, nigga. Why niggas wasn't trying to get hit by big blood, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So he was the the the, the main denominator in us winning like that. You feel me? Period, point blank. Salute to my nigga, and I love him because he was trying to go home. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't on that bullshit. He get his money. Nigga, that nigga did that nigga trying to pull me back. Plus, that nigga got Crip family, so he wasn't trying to go bad on the Crips and Sack. Whole little side story. The Sack Crips seen that go down with the Sack niggas and really kind of didn't get in. They end up getting DP, rolled up, all sorts of shit after that. Just because they didn't get in it, like, we ain't finna go to these Sack niggas because we gonna see them when we get out. And they ain't really like that. But back to the story, though. Bam, so we on, we mace, trying to get the mace out. Nigga, the Bay niggas is like, they start making chants and shit and start laughing at the Crips and they over there cracking jokes. We laughing too. Like, they laughing at how the Crips just got their ass kicked. But now, nigga, the Crips is like, they hot. Nigga, they all against the wall, beat up, fucked up and shit. They can't believe what just happened. Nigga, they, they, they outnumber the Sacramento area by like three times and they just got their ass kicked. So they like, nigga, and the band is like, ah, y'all just got beat up. So, these niggas, some crip, you feel me? He kind of get up on the wall. Like, you know, when niggas start trying to get it back cracking and shit, you feel me? And they drilling, going, they don't lay down. They start, like, actually laying down, like, but they on their crouches. He like, hey, y'all. Man, y'all hear these? Hey, cuz, y'all hear these niggas talking about? Man, let's get these niggas, cuz. And he rile his crips up. I swear before Jesus, them crips all got up. But this time... These bad niggas was like, ah, ha, ha. They all laughing and making chants and shit, bagging on the nigga while we on the whole little lay down. Nigga, the Crips jump back up and run straight for the bay, nigga. You feel me? Like, fuck these soft-ass corny niggas. We getting on them, nigga, for making fun of us. So the Crips jump up and just go straight for the bay. We didn't gave them a taste of that Sacramento blood medicine, and they really was like, well, we could take them niggas then. You feel me? But as soon as they rush, get up and rush the bay, nigga, nigga, we like, you good? You, nigga, I'm good. Too. Nigga, get on them niggas. And we flanked them and hit them again. Bam! Y'all going brazy, bro. You feel me? So, this time, I mean, they shooting from the tower. I mean, they realize this shit done went crazy. So, what the police do is they all take off running. Nigga, I see gates come open. I ain't never seen come open before. The police run off the yard for safety. So it's just niggas over there fighting and shit, getting it in with their team and shit. Running through the yard, trying to get away. Nigga, coming back for action. Nigga, you, nigga, they ain't let niggas fight. Nigga, I swear, nigga, we was on that yard fighting for like, it had to be like 30 or 45 minutes. They had to call, Folsom had to call back up and had the police come in. Nigga, with the motherfucking SWAT team to lay us all back down again, bruh. This is one of the biggest riots in, 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 full, in, in fucking California history, bruh. The police all ran, booked, and let us just have it out. Why niggas was just watching eating popcorn if you wasn't in it. These niggas crazy. But it went crazy like that, you feel me? And shout out to my nigga moves because, you know... We was like this, but when you got a nigga that'll go through through hell with you, you feel me? You definitely gotta tip your hat to these real niggas out here. So you know what I'm saying? Hey man, that's a real motherfucking nigga right there. If that nigga befriend you, man, you know you got a friend to the end. You just gotta watch it because sometimes he gonna try to do some fake shady shit, and you just gonna have to be a little bit slick. <laughs> Hey, that's my nigga, though, man. You feel me? We've been doing this shit for a minute, man, you know. And this the Matter View documentary, man. That was some crazy. It was some crazy times, man. But now.